Um, but it, it's, you know, it sounds corny, but it is more an homage than anything else. I don't cover songs unless I really think they're incredible. And, and, and I just thought, as everybody else did, well, the minute I heard it, I just thought, well, it's just a hit. It's just an absolutely undeniable hit, mostly because it's so unencumbered. It's so straight. It's done in such a gutsy, real, solid way. And again, undeniable melody, undeniable uh, performance. It's just, it's just, it's like, it's everything. She's got everything. And I can't, you know, it's like, what's the point of doing the song the same as the person who's already done it? I mean, I can't, couldn't ever do that like she does it. Why on earth would you try? Only a lunatic would try to do it that way. But um, in the same way that I've covered other people's songs, whether it's Soundgarden or The Who, or it's funny actually because I always go for rock songs. I always like like big testosterone rock songs. But with Adele, she's kind of like a rock instrument in herself. You know, her voice is like a rock instrument, even though it's deep, soulful blues. You know, whatever you want to call it, it's just. But it's a big rock instrument, and it's got a lot, so much soul and power to it. And so I thought, well, you know, what if you're going to do something? If you enjoy a song so much and you love it so much, what are you going to do when you're not just imitating it? Well, again, um, take it to a take it to to another place. So I just took it to a to a more jazz place um, because it's just the thing about great songs is that you can literally do them in any style. In you know, I mean, literally, you could do them as a, a rock, you could do them jazz, you could do it as a reggae song, you could do it in any style you wanted to. Great songs stand up in any way. And so I guess that was really the fun of it, was take it, it's not, it's not that far away, but it's a very different uh, interpretation of it. It's, more, it's in some ways, it's more torch, it's more sort of, um, it's more emotional, I guess, in some ways. Hers is much more like, you know, a real fuck you kind of thing, you know which is what's so sublime about it. And mine's more in my style, I guess, bittersweet and um, a bit more uh, heartbroken, but it's just, you know, I, I would never dream of doing a cover of somebody else's songs unless I was just crazy about that song and, and the artists that do them. So, um, and one of the most wonderful things when you do a cover is when you see people in the audience, because I'm such a sort of live animal, it's because I like because performance is so important to me. To do a song like that, and you can see people in the audience doing. I'm sure, I know that. I'm sure I know what that is from the opening, and it's like, no, surely not. No, I couldn't possibly be. And then it it is that song, and um, it's great. It's it's great. It's a it's a really satisfying experience, particularly when you're not doing the karaoke version of it, or you're not doing the club, you know, the kind of the straight cover of it, the club med cover, um, the Butlins cover. It's it's um it's really satisfying. But yeah, she's um she she's one she's one of those artists that makes me that makes me want to. And I think because she's so, the music is so piano based, it's so soulful in the way that only a piano can be, that I instantly just like, you know, I love that whole, I love 21. I mean, that's like, you know, how many millions of other people, but I really, I think she's opened a door, a window for other artists who, who love the craft of songwriting, you know, who love, Melody, who love songs that you want to sing, who love songs that you want to whistle, that that love really great hooks, and I think she's opened a door for an awful lot of artists. You know, even ones who are you know older than her, like me. It's just it's an incredible thing, but it's really makes you feel good to hear it when that's kind of what you've always loved yourself. So you know, thank you to her, but. Yeah, I'm of course a bit pissed off that she would be so fecking talented and so wise and, and so shockingly young. I mean, obviously that that's made me very bitter. But um, I'm sorry, lovely, lovely. 
la imaginación.